is, yeah, really pumped, really excited. A little nervous, a little excited. I hope that they are spectacularly impressed. Just to be out of Scotland for a day or two is quite nice. Looking forward to seeing some innovative products or services, ideas, something that is going to really help circular economy. So our idea is to try and radically improve the adoption of a menstrual cup. And it's all essentially around allowing a woman to not only have a more sustainable period, but a more comfortable and a more healthy period. So we are proposing to put lens and men's hubs in public libraries in Scotland. We want it to become a space that the community love and that they use and that they direct. We've invented a revolutionary dyeing process for polyester and you could effectively take in a whole polyester garment, dyed with our technology and have it decoloured and recolored. I'm looking to revolutionise the footwear industry for children. If we were to develop a shoe that could expand by at least three hours half sizes, we would be able to at least double the lifetime use of every shoe. There was a lot of scrutiny on our idea, and they're quite an intimidating group of people. I think a couple of tricky questions, but hopefully we were able to answer. Yeah. I think it went really well. They had lots of interesting questions, they were really engaged with the idea. And they liked the chemistry, eventually. We had some really interesting projects. We'll just now have to make decisions and see how it goes. We are over the moon to have been chosen as part of the £1 million Circular Futures Fund. We can't wait to get started. It really is a game changer for us. We are thrilled to be able to accelerate our journey towards making children's footwear more sustainable and less damaging for the planet.